Yeah, so I actually have a wire brush here that actually kind of fits just in the cab here. So I'm going to get rid of this rust quite a bit quicker this way. So here we go, we'll just put her in the cab here carefully. If it fits, I had it in a minute ago. There we go, like that. And we'll just run in a bit and we'll get rid of the whole pile of this rust. Now, that has cut out quite a few hours of work there. Lovely. So as you can see, if I can get the light in there, that's got rid of quite a bit of that rust. I'm quite happy with that. A little bit of a clean with the, um, with the two units here. See what I got left. A couple of the corners maybe only now. Yeah, so it's beginning to clean up nicely. Enough to get rid of the rust so it doesn't rust right away. And then we'll start on this pick stuff, what we're going to do. Yeah, as I was cleaning the chimney of the train flew out with the wire brush. And I noticed there's a dent in here a bit. So I'm putting it on a little wood and I've got this watch little hammer I bought in London this holiday. And I'm just... Maybe with the nylon side, just tapping out that dent a little bit. Now that looks way better. And then we're going to see how we clean this next. Yeah, so what I'm going to use first is this cream. And I'm just going to smear it on here. This is a car compound. And we'll just see what happens. It does brighten up quite a bit. You can see there, compared with the side, it's getting more silver. Now whether this needs a little touch up with paint or something, I don't know. I could touch up a couple of the spots and make it look better. But you can see it's brightening up. Sometimes also you're getting a toothbrush and some water and doing it like this is a really good idea with your toothbrush. Also, I have to get some water. You can see some of the yellow coming off there on the train. See it? See how bright it's getting? And I'm not taking off any of the um, decos or anything. I'm trying to save it. And try to drop a thinner sort of difference. Something to water. I should go get water, but now I did have WD forty on this already. I'm using a bit of white spirits actually as water, uh, a liquid to clean it. Which is something I haven't done before. It seems to be working quite well. Gotta watch I don't lose the decals here, see? Oops, those tabs back here are not great. They seem to break apart quite easy. Okay. So we'll do this, you know, for half an hour, whatever it takes, until we get a bit of a shine and we'll see what we're gonna do then. 
So if I give her a little wash off, you can see that it's cleaning up. Paper towel quickly. See that? Now that's cleaned up. See how that's cleaning up? And we'll just keep at this and you know slowly we'll um, find out what we have to do next. It kind of unravels itself really. But you know it is looking better. We have our little interior stuff here to put in and we'll be you know coming near an end but question is do we put little silver blobs on those or not? Let's just polish for another little while and we'll see what we got. Back to the toothbrush. Yay! Yeah so I just um, I'm just pressed the tabs and put the motor back on and we give her a little wine to test her out again because sometimes it does bend the chassis or you press up against the car and it stops working. Got to get a key for this I'm afraid which would be nice. Alright so put her over here. There she goes. Yep. So we don't have to worry about the actual uh, she unwinds pretty quick, it's only a small toy. Don't have to worry about the train running now, it's all set to go. I love the little wobbly wheels in the back, I'm just going to leave those. And we're going to go back to this and try to work out what we're going to do with all these spots. But this got this patina look now, which I like. I might have to put a little black in that wheels here, but not much. I kind of like it, this kind of a rustic look, but clean from rust. And I pressed the tabs really tight down here so that this is going to hold and you know when you want to crimp a shaft you just get take a vise. I'll just show you quickly. It's this one isn't it? Yeah. That's fixed. You just take a vise grips and you crimp down hard on it. Real hard. Right? And you've got a crimp shaft. And this vise grip doesn't have the grips here so it's flat smooth. So it gives it the right look. And then once that doesn't come off, you don't worry about it anymore. And there we go. We're all set with the inners there. We're back to this and we've got to see what we're going to do with this baby. A little bit too dimpled rust. It's gone better, but up here is very bad. Let's see. And what I'm doing is mixing some silver and some, I'll just put it there copper and silver here, like model paints. And what I'm doing is just mixing a little bit together here and trying to get the right color for this train. And then I dab it on just a little bit there. See if it matches. And you know, sometimes I just wipe it off again because it stays in the rust spot. And um, makes it just a little bit better than it was. That's what I'm doing right now, is just testing this out a bit. It's a little goldy still, you know? I can still see a little tint of gold, too much gold in there. So I'm gonna put a little more silver in this. Let's see if we get this right. And what we're gonna do is just keep doing this until I get the look I want, you know? So, I'll just keep at that. Get back to you later. It takes me a while, you know. I um, need to sit here and relax. Just touch away. Yeah. See if I can get that to blend like an old looking train. Train, that's better there. Yeah. Much better. I might leave some rust on it so it has some patina kind of look.